Never have I ever been told to go back to where I came from. Go back to where? Where we came from. To where? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never followed, bro. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Six, eight, five in the house. I'm gonna beat me. It is what it is. Yeah, let's go. Well, you know, I did work at a sex shop, so like, I learned, I learned that way. Hi, I'm Gloria from Gloria's World. I'm Jay, I'm 28 years old, and I'm the baddest bitch in the Western Sydney. Hey. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's your girl Nibs, aka your girl. Yeah. yeah. AKA, shout out to the Luna Kid. Hey, guys, it's Belty, aka the Golden Wheelchair, aka shout out to Capiso, aka the Pirate King. Hey. Do you want me to be formal? Because I was going to go like hella chill. No, be yourself. Oh. Like. Yo, what's up? It's your girl now. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, world? It's Big 685. You're now tuned into the Australian Side Morning Edition of Never Have I Ever. Alright. This is. Never Have I Ever said I'm related to The Rock. <laughs> Everyone um. knows we're already related, so, you know. <laughs> Everyone knows that he's my mum's brother, so <laughs> I don't oh, like much right. attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> You're fraud, bro. Oh, You've no, never... I lied. I did. I mean, why would why would I say I'm related to him when that's my husband? So. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Obviously, I'm a professional Bye. wrestler. Yeah, I've seen The Rock before. And they're like, where? I'm like, oh, when you're doing a tour in Samoa. He's ne never, never, once, never went there. He that. hasn't set foot in Samoa. Yeah, like maybe once in a while, like yeah, once every 10 years. Yeah. And then I do the, um, the, you know, the eyebrow raising thing he does, but I can't do it, so. <laughs> I can't. When you were growing up, everybody said that was my cousin. Mm. But it's my cousin, it's my, he's related to my. <laughs> Don't we all wish we were related to Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Never have I ever been out partying all night on a Saturday and then made it on time for church on a Sunday. <laughs> Proudly. So ma right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's so liberating. Like it's such a good challenge. Like a challenge. It is. You feel it the next day and you feel so guilty. And the looks that you get from your elders, yeah. <laughs> so do you consider like, oh, like I just won't go to church? Oh, you? it's kind of like not a choice. <laughs> no, you're not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> you have to rush home, shower, get ready, and put on your white clothes because mum really needs to go to church. Then I'm like putting on my white clothes and I'm ready. And, wow. and then they're like, oh, how do you cover like that you're hungover? I'm like, you just put on your sunnies. And just like, God is good all the time. <laughs> God is good. Never have I ever got a smack from my parents. Is that a joke or? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, just got one before I left home. No. <laughs> Big fat yes. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> definitely have. Uh, I'm the queen of getting my eyes beat really? in my teens. Yeah. That's all they knew. I think it's it's hard to find someone that at our age, right? That hasn't. Don't call docs, but we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's standard. I don't know, it's just been a part of our culture, you know what I mean? They say the child doesn't get disciplined, you'll see it. If the child is disciplined, you will see it. So it's just the way it is, man. Never have I ever been followed around the shops by security. <laughs> Standard. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, what, you've never? No. I thought you're gonna put, I, I have. Oh. What? No oh. way. A lot of security guards, they're islanders anyway, so it's like, hey cuz, like, yeah, oh, okay, for you, <laughs> yeah. She's like, hey cuz, yeah. One time I was um, shopping and I, I pulled down um, like a chocolate bar and there was a guy on the other side like peeking through the cages. <laughs> <laughs> the really? security guard, bro. Shout out to Auburn Woolies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from outsider's perspective, like, come on, we, we some big people, we're big, we're brown, like, all right, we're intimidating, and there is a lot of stigma with us, you know what I mean? So, um, that doesn't help. Uh, being a female as well, but then also of colour, so it goes hand in hand for me. I went into Maya's and it was me and my cousins, and he was wearing a beanie, and when we walked out, they were like, um, are you stealing? So then they had to watch the footage back, 
And he was wearing a, the beanie when we walked in, yeah, yeah. so. Never have I ever had my Pacific Island name butchered. Ooh. Always. What do you mean? Oh, I've got a white name. Oh. That's how I get job interviews. But yeah, <laughs> I'm not lying. I actually don't have an island name. My name's just Danielle. Yeah, because we didn't use my island name in school. So it was basically Elijah. Elijah, but in Samoan is Air Leo. Do you not have a Samoan name? Um, no, not, not my real my real name's all like English. Oh really? Yeah. And I've got a middle name that's 16 letters, so it's like A B C D E F G. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> my full name is Aniva, and I get called Niva, and it's like one letter off. So yeah. it's like, <laughs> come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> <laughs> Fili fili ya le suwa fa nine. Never have I ever been told to go back to where I came from. Oh my gosh. Go back to where? Where we came from. To where? No. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my mom was from an old lady at a nursing home. She was like, go back to where you came from. And it didn't hit the, the heart. But. Yeah. I've lost count how many times I've been told to go back to where I came from, bro. I actually got it a few months ago when I was with my nieces and nephews. I took them to the park and there was this man who wasn't happy that we were there and he was like, go back to where you came from. And I was like, go back to where you came from. You do not own this land. <laughs> <laughs> Rugby games, a school spectacular, not a high school one, a primary school one, did receive a a racist taunt that did scar me. As a kid, you don't have a response, so you just cry, like... Yeah. But, yeah, that, 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 oh my god, I'm getting so deep now. <laughs> Never have I ever been called a Balangi Samoan. Yeah. 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 Oof. I would say I'm on the edge with this one. I always get told I'm not Samoan enough. If you're talking plastic-wise, kind of, only because I don't speak it fluently. Yeah, if we're going by um, that premise, I'll definitely be the same. Yeah. It's kind of like if you don't know the, like how to speak it fully. Yeah. Yeah. Like the cultural, like the cultural, cultural, cultural way of like Samoa, tradition Samoa, I'm blank. No, you know, I don't know a lot of it. I don't particularly speak the language fluently, so that kind of discredits my Samoan-ness in saying that I am so proud to be Samoan, even though the, the small amount of blood that I do have, I don't think it's like any less being Samoan, I'm Samoan. And I'm proud. <laughs> okay, never have I ever had that conversation with my parents or elders. And you know what we're talking about. What conversation? <laughs> the birds and the bees. <laughs> Can I just see? <laughs> Wait, you have? Yeah. Oh wow, how young, how young are your parents? Yeah, we don't talk about it. I mean, the closest I've had to that conversation was my parents saying, you better not get pregnant. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I have never. It is a I'll very say, taboo topic. Yeah, yeah. I'll say maybe, almost. <laughs> now, one time my old man came in and he's like, hey, we're gonna tell you a story about the birds and the bees. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Like, we know, we know, we know. I was yeah. only like 13 or something. Yeah. You already know by then? Um. <laughs> if, yeah. they, if we like we're watching a TV like with our parents and they're just kissing. Yeah. We're just like. <laughs> yeah, that's how <laughs> we get there. You, you, like, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not looking, I'm not looking. Never have I ever had an awkward stare down with another islander in public. Why? I have. I don't know about awkward. Like, I've definitely locked eyes with any other Pacific Islander in the crowd. When Islanders drive past you and you're walking, they will stay until the car's like all the way down the road about to turn. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, oh, you look familiar. Or it's like, ooh. Like, just that sign of respect, like that. <laughs> Usually it would like give a nod or raise the eyebrows. Yeah, 100%. But even I'm like, and they would just be like, <laughs> Looking at me awkward. and I'll just be like, well now that's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Look what you've done. It's a lot of the... A lot of the ladies. Yeah. 
Like, what are you wearing? I'm like, something yeah. that you could never afford. <laughs> those are, those are like hot topic questions. Like, you yeah. know, those are. Very stereotypical. Yeah, stereotypical, but it's getting answered. But so it I, us. I like that we're giving answers to these stereotypical questions. For us, this is really big. Like, um, from where we're from, growing up um, in Mandra. For sure, shout out to BuzzFeed. Yeah, man, it's kind of cool. So, having different answers, different perspectives, different opinions, bro. It's a beautiful thing. Let's get it.